What's up, Comies? It's your girl Candace. And I'm Omar. And welcome to the Comar Show. You saw it on the thumbnail. This is your official pregnancy update. We're getting so many questions in the comments. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to just go ahead and give you guys the whole spiel up to date. We are about 20 weeks this week. Almost halfway, right? Yeah, we're halfway there. Technically, we're halfway. Wow, it's happening it's so, so fast. It's crazy. We literally had to prep our bodies Man. Before we even wanted to dive into this whole world. Okay. And obviously, you guys have t seen us talk about the cleanse, going to see Dr. Sevi on Honduras, uh, eating right, changing our diet to a plant-based diet, getting more sun, taking more herbs, drinking more healthy water, you all, know. all the things. Omar was apparently deficient in vitamin D. D. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. I have PCOS. Yep. For those of you who don't know, you guys know where to go for that. There's videos on it. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. So we just wanted to be as prepared as possible. We did not want to go into this and just like have a failure. We wanted to succeed. At least set ourselves up to succeed as, as possible. Best, if it was under our control, we wanted to yeah. go ahead and try our best to like make sure that we had the best foot forward mm -hmm. and be prepared. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. And I think the year of prep time got us ready to the point 1, where our second try we Speak, got pregnant. Speaking of tries, like, we tried. <laughs> the first time we tried, yo, we fit. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> that had to do it. All right, I see it. That had that's to do it. it. Oh, that's we're, the one right in. there. All right, we're in. That's like, the one right there. Uh, I, we were, for, if you are under 18 here, it, this conversation is not for you, but oh, man. We, we were like, that was it. That's it. And the, um, the, the month came <laughs> and her cycle came. Nothing. 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 No. Baby. Nothing. So we're like, uh-uh, we gotta run this thing back. And sure enough, second round, bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gucci Wally. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. And we, thank God, uh, luckily we got pregnant. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just been crazy because it happened Th two or three, three, weeks. Weeks three weeks before we got married. We got married. Some of you guys know that that story is in. Um, we have a video on that Call too. Called my uh, story time. Yeah, story time with that. But um, yeah, so we got pregnant, and then not only was our our wedding, but it was our honeymoon that we had already had planned. Yep. So then we had to go all the way to Bali, which is a fifteen hour flight from California. Sixteen. Sixteen hour flight from California. By the way, the doctor approved us to go of course. to of course. Bali. And when I tell you we had to change up some plans, we everything was just like scenic routes. It was... You know, but usually, typically when we vacay, we like experimenting, we like experiencing, we like Adventure. adventures. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're we like out. doing all the things. Like out. We like being active. Yeah. And this was completely different this, this time around. Out. Yeah, a lot of sightseeing. Beautiful sites though, actually. Yeah, we, we went to so many beautiful different kinds of hotels yep. and like just a lot of sitting around, taking it in, a lot of meditating, a lot of talking about what our future plans are now that we're newly married, but we're gonna be new parents, you know? So it was just like a lot of time to catch up and figure out exactly what kind of parents we want to be, even though we were had already had those conversations. It was just a lot of relaxing. And First of all, what I noticed about myself <laughs> out there, <laughs> while we were out in Bali is oh. that I felt really protective over Candace and our baby. I don't know if it's because we were newly married, because <laughs> we just newly found out that we were pregnant. I'm, all, I'm on, on a high alert as if they're trying to physically harm her. Anytime someone gets close to her, I'm like, hey. bro, I'm like watching them with like a side eye. And this is, it was just a very, very interesting uh, feeling and switch that yeah, had never been turned on before. So I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, like just for me to experience that, those type of feelings. But I guess it just comes with being a parent, you yeah, know? Yeah, or a protective dad or whatever. whatever. But we were also in a foreign country. I mean, that, yeah, that but, was rightfully so. And also too, first trimester, it's pretty scary. I hate to say it again, but I have PCOS. There's the number one reason for infertility. Also, yeah. lots of miscarriages happen during that time. So our first pregnancy. I'm not trying to be the reason why we lose our first child. So yeah. everything was on hold, like Earth. beach water, everything no, scared no us. Room, no. All the things All the I things. love, especially yeah. to do on vacation, yeah. that thing, those, those were out. So I mean, a lot of them are still out because of pregnancy, but the first trimester specifically, fresh out, headed all the way to Bali, 
that was a lot to kind of take in, but also just learn how to enjoy. And I think I enjoyed a little bit too with that when it came to food, because- Oh well, my goodness. Out of we America, we splurged, we didn't stop. The prices are unmatched over there. There's Everything is just so affordable. I'm talking seven, eight courses, not seven, maybe five, six, but $35. Crazy. I mean, where? I mean, we live in LA. Oh, you can't goodness. get a croissant for. You can't get a croissant and a tea for $35. You can't. This is so, crazy. Not only were we in love with the prices, we were in love with just like not having American food that was processed. Yeah. So, not. Or filled with hormones yeah. and antibiotics, all of those things. So, we literally went from being super clean over here in California, eating super clean, plant based. Mm -hmm getting our bodies ready for pregnancy, taking a lot of herbs, yep. sea moss, all the things. Yep. Shout out to the Culture's Herb. Man, we are, big shout out to Culture's Herb. I feel like the Culture's Herb and the Berberine. Like, and the Soursop leaves. The Soursop leaves. Like very specific. Low key the male performance too, I ain't gonna hold you. That's why. I ain't gonna that's hold what, you, I ain't gonna hold that, you. That's what got you going. As yeah. soon as you started taking that damn male performance, yeah. everything was up. Yeah. It's crazy, <laughs> it's crazy. That's besides the point. Anyways. Um, so yeah, we were so like, about our business when it came to like all the supplements we were taking. And if you guys want, we'll tag it down below. Yeah. If that's what like, you so want, we'll, just we'll comment. Leave, we'll leave it in the description. Uh, and then when it actually did happen, you know, and we're pregnant now, I'm not gonna take all these damn herbs that I'm used to taking. But that food, I'm allowed to have the food. So I just went and splurged. I, we ate so much stuff. We were not plant-based out there. It was not American food, so came back. Didn't feel too crazy. It, the weight didn't, didn't stick or I anything didn't, like I that. Didn't, I didn't gain any weight. Obviously, Candace's situation is different because yeah. she's, she's carrying now, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I, I didn't gain any weight at all. I usually there. would have gained probably like, e yeah, right? just having PCOS in general. Yeah. Like, you can't go on vacation and enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, because you just come back and you gain. 15, 20 pounds in one sitting. It's like actually insane. So it was nice to obviously not have that because of, I feel like everything we were taking, but also us not being in America. So yeah. Yeah. we did our thing and came back to America, went straight to the doctor. Shout out to Dr. Tai Yali once again. She's the forward on my book, but she was also our doctor for the beginning of our pregnancy. And um, she's also the doctor that diagnosed me with PCOS. So she, when I came into her office, she was like, are you serious? Like people try so hard to get pregnant when they have PCOS and you know, we did it. And she's like, I'm just proud of you. You take care of your body, you did all the things. And you know, we got her blessing to go on the vacation. So when we got back, we had to go check on the baby. And when we went to another ultrasound right after that. Our baby was going crazy. crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about dance fever. Dance I think. fever and giving us a swim and oh a hello. Oh my and a, God. We're like, how do we leave? And it was, we, it was a beam. It was a beam. We come back and, it's and it was like a whole body. Wow. Arms, legs, wow. feet, heartbeats. It's just. The female body is incredible. I'm like, so like, you're trying to tell me that we have like two, two heartbeats in one body oh right now? Goodness, two, like, so you're telling me I got four hands right now? It's crazy. It, it, you're, it's you sound like an octopus right now. Yeah, I'm like an, you're, you're like an octopus. You're like an octopus right now. I've got hella limbs. Oh my God, you have eight tentacles. I, tentacles? Is that what they call? Yeah, <laughs> I do have eight tentacles. Yeah, you're like an octopus. I am like an octopus. Oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. I love being a water animal. <laughs> It's wow. Like, I love it. Queen of oh my gosh. the watch here. Wow. Earth. You guys, we are going off on a rant. Okay. This is not supposed to be this long. Right. Oh. Right. We're going to get back. When we got back, this stuff really started to set in. It was like sleepy, hungry, emotional. Super emotional, by the way. <sighs> I'm talking about just like crying all the time. Mostly, mostly happy tears, to be honest, but like super emotional literally walking into the kitchen catching you just stare into the gaze <laughs> i'm asking you what's wrong you're like can't explain anything i'm like do you need to cry she's just like yeah. yeah i'm like well cry <laughs> in the middle of the middle, kitchen. I'm like, and then we just cry and just you would just hold me and i would cry get it out and, and then we move on so <laughs> that is so interesting just 
literally how the emotions are so heavy for a woman. You know what I mean? She just can't help it. But that, yeah, that felt that felt crazy. And then like I would cry. Guys, I don't. I couldn't even tell you what I was crying about. Like, who knows? I know. Genuinely, not even sad or anything. Just like, everything would just make me. Oh, forget like, wholesome videos on any type of social media or anything like that. But yeah, like in the kitchen, just gazing off into the sunset and just like starting. Thinking I'm about just, life. I'm really just thinking about how amazing <laughs> this like situation is. Just, just blessed. Just blessed and feeling so happy. To be honest, that's really what a lot of the emotions came from. Just gratitude. But sad, also, man. there's a lot of hormones going through the body. This is true. This is true. And, is true. you know, you're, everything's starting to go out of whack. And was also on progesterone as well. Do you guys know what progesterone is? Progesterone. Okay, so let me help educate because I feel like I learned something. Okay, what did process. you learn about okay. progesterone? A natural secretion mm -hmm. that the female body produces, right? It allows the semen to actually stick to the cervical wall. This is how women are able to keep the egg and, and their cervix, which is a huge thing um, in PCOS because PCOS doesn't allow the female to produce it, right? So this is a this is a, a big thing. If they can't produce it naturally, or if they have an issue due to a certain condition like PCOS, the doctor will prescribe them the actual supplement for it. Was that right? Am I right? Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. For my case, it was more of like a precautionary measure. Like we yep. didn't want to experience anything and it didn't hurt me. Nope. And a lot of women take progesterone in the beginning of their pregnancy. I don't take it anymore. We're in the second trimester. Yep. Um, we took it for the first just to kind of just stay ahead of the game. Yep. It was about two months that I was on it. Eight weeks. <laughs> Eight weeks because he knows the dates. Eight weeks. You know what the doctor came and said? She said, this is before, before we left to, oh my God. This, before we left to freaking Bali, she goes, yo, I'm going to prescribe you uh, progesterone and you guys should not have any sex while she is taking. We're like, okay, cool. So how long does she need to take it? She's like, yeah, she needs to be on it for eight weeks. We're like, we're going on our honeymoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, ma'am? Oh! Uh, huh? But we figured it out. Yeah. We worked but, around it. All I'm saying is that was crazy. And that he knows the date. But. By the date. For sure. What did you say the first trimester was? I think it was just more scared. Super afraid to move. I did not oh, want yeah. to be responsible yes. for yes. any type of movement. Yes. I did not yes. want the baby to yes. fall out of me. <clears throat> progesterone or no progesterone. Yes. I was not trying to have this child be my responsibility in the sense of why it didn't work. So. Clearly, you can see that she didn't feel like that about the second trimester. Yes. because. All you gotta do is go back and watch the video <laughs> that we just put out of all my mom are doing it, the, the, the recap video or the reenactment video of Victoria Monet's. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm a mama. Which shout out to Victoria Monet. She just got seven Grammy nominations. Woo! Grammy nominations. The thing. The, Give me a Grammy! The ongoing joke yesterday was she went from seven rings to seven Grammys. Because so. she was part of the writing process for Our yep. Young Ground and Seven Rings. And now she is doing her own thing. She's been doing her own thing, but is finally getting the recognition for it. So yep. seven Grammys. Shout out to Victoria. We're so proud of you. 1,000%. And let's, let's reel it on back. So second trimester, carpal tunnel. Officially 13 weeks pregnant. And this happens woke up in excruciating pain last night. I looked up wrist pain in pregnancy and they say it's so common and this apparently is called carpal tunnel and I've never felt this pain in my life. It feels like I dislocated my wrist and I cannot move my fingers and I woke up in the middle of the night like feeling throbs of, I felt every time my heart was beating, I felt it in my freaking wrist. Um, so we just did a whole bunch of like YouTubes, just learned about it while I actually took a Tylenol, which I hate taking pills, but it was either I go to the hospital or I took a pill and I took, I mean, a Tylenol. And um, we knew that the doctor's office wasn't opening until right now. So I am, uh, we went to Walgreens and got a hand wrist stabilizer, ice bag, heating bag, um, some more Tylenol, and a wrist like compressor. 
13 weeks I was like this pregnancy is going so smooth it's going so good other than being scared about having PCOS blah 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 and then boom week 13 boom carpal tunnel can't use your right hand your dominant hand just don't move a little quick synopsis on my mask stinks <laughs> my experience here I think we did it kind of right we held on for 24 hours and Okay, I'm just trying to make sure you're feeling good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that right there, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> nice bag. Can you see me? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm out here really with the, with the Metro look. You know what I mean? These are unisex bags. You yeah, but you have on the other one too, so shut it. <laughs> no, this, this is my bag. Okay, bye. <laughs> So some people know about it, some people don't, um, but that's one thing that I experienced that was like treacherous during yeah. the second trimester. Yeah. And other than that, shit, I was back moving and dancing as soon as my wrist started feeling better. And then we got back onto our like clean eating. The only thing I yeah. haven't been able to do is take the same supplements that I was taking before. But I'm still on mine. He's still on Shout his. Out Shout out to the culture <laughs> Again, I got sick, I got a flu uh, last week, and oh um, I feel like because my immune system isn't as strong because I'm not on my herbs, but he didn't flinch, he didn't get sick at all. Like the herbs, I'm all for the herbs, but we don't take and them my, for the pregnancy. I don't take them for the pregnancy. My body was already fighting too, because I had surgery two weeks ago. Correct. You know, so like my body is oh fighting because it's trying to heal itself back. To, you know, foot surgery. Foot surgery, I had a surgery on my foot, I had an injury. Great injury. We actually got some footage that Matter of fact, just look at it. So we've been down pretty bad in this house. Um, hey, it's crazy. Between catching the flu, trying to get through that, and Omar's foot surgery, we just been holding on by a string. But the the good eating and the herbs, at least the ones that I could take right now, and just the, the nutrition, just I guess the regimen that we're back on is really helping us to yeah. stay the course and keep everything on, on track. We're back to eating majority alkaline foods. Yep. If you don't know what that is, you guys, there's a whole book on it, the PCOS with Candice book, where there's a list of all the alkaline foods. We'll yep. say, thus far, second trimester has been really, really good to me. And the word on the street is like, your second trimester is like your honeymoon phase of your She's pregnancy. She's gonna be a breeze. She's gonna be a breeze. <laughs> and I've been loving the second trimester so far. Feeling really good, feeling a little bit more confident with my body, feeling super confident with how to move as a pregnant woman. Like, got my mojo back. I'm not as sleepy, um, not as emotional. So the emotions have, the crying hasn't really been as much. <laughs> and I will say the boobs are still they a ginorm. I mean, I feel like they've just been getting bigger and bigger by the day, like bigger than the baby. I think I have a baby in each one and then one here. So the chest is chesting. Um, Omar's not complaining, but child, literally child. Child, child has a whole new meaning to it. We finally found out our gender. Oh my goodness. And we decided that we- We needed to figure it out. We needed to know. We didn't want to wait. wait any longer. Couldn't so wait. the spiel is with the gender reveal. I ain't gonna say it. It's a video that's coming out. Yeah, that we're about to say. <laughs> we'll give you guys a rundown for that. So the next video is gonna be our gender reveal. We hope that you guys I hope that we answered a lot of your questions just about pregnancy thus far. And hopefully we struck some like relatability because I know a lot of, there's a lot of parents out there, there's a lot of families out there. And I know a lot of us are going through the same things. I think that's yeah. the cool thing about sharing these stories. Yeah, like, everybody's like, pregnancy is different, yeah. you know? So we've just been experiencing our version of it and we're really enjoying it, especially here in the Comar house. The dogs, they know we're pregnant. Yep. They've been following me around. They One stays with Omar, one stays with me. I have so much to do. So leave any questions that you have below. Make sure you like, comment, comment and subscribe, subscribe to the Comar Show. You guys do not want to miss what we have coming. Our baby Gender reveal girl. is actually going to be the next video. So you do not want to miss it. Ooh, because we know. So now we're ready to let you guys know. Drop it in the comments below what y'all think, think? think it is. What y'all think it is. Yeah, do you think it's a boy or do you think it's a girl? Let us know. But either way, we love you guys. Without further ado, until next time. We out.